Now, in the previous example, we have declared a structure variable separately. For uh, in the previous example, you can do that. We can say that we have declared a structure like this: struct student. And in this structure student, we have done int id part. Then we have done character name part. And then we have done float percentage. Okay, this is what we have done in the previous example. And to declare a variable of this struct student, then we have to we have done struct student record, right? So that means this record variable is of type student. But instead of doing this, we can also declare this variables within this structure. So how to do it? If we do struct student int id character name 20 float percentage okay and then after these brackets i can just write record here okay now if i write return record here that means this record variable is of type student we can declare even multiple variables here. We can even do struct student, right? And here we can write the definition of the student that, that means what are the data types it is going to contain. And after this closing braces, I can just write uh, different variables. For example, I write a comma b comma c comma d, right? That means this a variable is of type student. This B variable is of type student. This C and D, all these variables are of type student. These are variables. Okay. This is the name of the structure, student. Here, this is the name of the structure. This is the name of the structure. And here, this is the variables of this, of uh, variables of this data type. This is the variables of this data type record. And this is the variable of this data type. So in all these three different ways, you can declare variables of your own structures okay now we can even have an array of structures so let us suppose we are having this program struct student and the student is having int id character name and then we are having float percentage Okay, let us suppose this is the structure which we have and then we do in the main program int main we can do int i then struct student record 20 okay so what does this declaration mean we are saying struct student record 20 right that mean we are, will be having an array of uh, data type student right so let us suppose this is the array and which will be storing 20 elements of type student so this is the index location 0 this is the index location 1 this is the index location 2 this is the index location 3 this is the index location 4 and so on up to 19 because it is having 20 index locations right and and all these index location will be having an id part then we'll be having this character array part okay so i'm not good at drawing these diagrams so we'll be having this character array which is name part and then we'll be having this percentage part okay now if you want to access this memory location and you want to store some data into this memory location okay then how to do it to do it then you have to do record index location 0 dot id is equal to 1 right that means at this index location 0 i just stored 1 and if you want to access this name part then you can even do this string copy or you can even uh, use stored string within this character array uh, just as you store any string within a within a character array how to do it then you can do it record 
at the zeroth index location and we are accessing the name part and in that name array it is name 30 right so in that name array we is, we are storing the string which is for example raju okay that means this raju string will be stored here r a j u and so on okay now if you want to access this percentage part then you can do record at the index location 0 dot percentage is equal to 89.6 that means this 89.6 will be stored here now if you want to access this index location 4 then you have to just write 4 here okay you can write as a record at the index location 4 dot id is equal to 2 that means 2 will be stored here you can write record index location 4 dot percentage is equal to 96.4 that means 96.4 will be stored here so this is how you can uh, declare this structures an array of structure and you can you, even you can print uh, this data within this structure so how will you do it so print this data you can even use a for loop how to use the for loop so you can write for i is equal to 0 i less than 3 or here there are 19 index locations so i less than uh, equal to 19 and i am doing i plus plus and then we are having printf percentage d comma record i dot id then we can do printf percentage s record i dot name and you can use printf percentage s record at the index location i dot percentage okay now this is how you can even print the complete data present within this structure okay